I love the story behind what you're doing. So Thank please you. let you. our guys know. Well, I mean, it's interesting. So the first season, I started off with uh, Black Like Me, my first collection, and it was about dealing with the layers of, of blackness and what does black mean yeah. and in a, in, a, in a life where really we shouldn't be looking at color anymore. But we've already gone through this moment, but we're here again. Yeah. So I started talking about, like, what does that mean? So I did, like, these layers of fabrics that made sense. And this season, I started dealing with even further and, and kind of expanding it and the idea of, like, stereotypes and, and boxes. If you got the invitation, yeah. it had, like you know black Asian whatever whatever like yeah, you had to yeah, check a box yeah, yeah. because I'm just like boxes mean nothing anymore like and it's the same thing has happened in clothing yeah. so what I've done is I've spent some time pulling some references not not just from my childhood but from like an evolution of where we've been of sportswear and activewear and what activewear means now to women and how they put it into their wardrobe it gives a new meaning to being comfortable absolutely but we are in comfort moment yeah. We're, in a, we're in a moment where what we have to say and who we are is important. Yeah. And it's no longer about labels. That's why the label thing is, is something that I wanted to deal with this, this, uh, this season. It's, it's this whole idea of like, you know, anything that we call ourselves. I love, uh, I love couture fabric. So, yeah. you know, all of this stuff was just hand done for me by Molly in Paris. And, you know, but then I like to, it's all done here in the U.S. It's all assembled here in the U.S. Because we have great workers and we have great people here. Fantastic. And they need jobs. They need to be working. Otherwise, our industry is going to go away. So all of it makes more sense and it's where we are as a country we care and yeah. that should be and I think that's wonderful we're at a place where people care yeah. they care about who you are and what your story is and what you have to say and they also care about how you're making your clothing what you're making your references yeah. they, they want to know that I'm like you know running around and and, and, and jogging in the afternoon and thinking yeah. about I still want to wear my jogger at night but I don't really want to wear the jogger I yeah. don't want the Adidas jogger I want a chic jogger he wants beauty to surround him Absolutely. that's what he wants I only want chic, beautiful, sexy women, always. Would you ever use clothing or materials that have already been worn or used in the I, past? I, you know, that's an interesting question because I've thought about it. I've thought about it and, and you never know. Yeah. I, 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 when I first started, I called it a collection by Frederick Anderson because I said one day I may make something that be, may scare people because it may not be clothing, it may be something else. So I always say that it's a story. It's an ongoing story. So let's see where we are next season.